Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna do five beauty tips that you need to know. These, in my opinion, are pretty life-changing. A lot of them are really simple, but I feel like they make a big impact in your beauty regimen, your skincare routine. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned. This video is sponsored by Clinique. Before you get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm at Naomi Boyer on Instagram, and let's get to the video. All right, beauty tip number one is to use custom skincare. So not everyone has the same skin type. Sometimes it can be super complex to go out and buy skincare when you don't know what you should be looking for. So back in 1968, Clinique was actually the first skincare brand to come up with custom fit skincare regimen. They're known for its three-step system. So first being a cleanser and then a toner and then moisturize, which hopefully a lot of us are already doing. So in particular, I wanna talk about the Clinique ID. This is what my bottle looks like. So basically they want you to be able to have full control of your skincare. You can create the perfect moisturizer for your skin type and your skin concerns. So you go online and your first step is to choose your hydrator base. So whether you want a cream base or a gel base, they have those options there for you. And then you choose one of the five active cartridge concentrates. So for me, since I like moisturizers that are more creamy, I went with the lotion. It has like a silky feel. And then for the cartridge, I have the one for pores and uneven skin tone and texture. I love the consistency of this one because I feel like it's really absorbing into my skin, not just sitting on top of my skin. And texture is something that I feel like I always battle with i do have pores i have combination skin and so i'll start off dry and then later on throughout the day my pores will create oil so this moisturizer definitely helps combat and create a balance and control with my oil and with my dryness also if you guys are not sure what skin type you have what concerns you may have then you can take a skin analysis on their website and you can take a photo and then from there it analyzes your skin and recommends what they think is best for you there are 15 different combinations so pretty much any skincare type that there is out there they have you covered you can really combat specific things that you think your skin needs this type of custom skincare actually helps you get down to the root of the problems that you are having with your skin and actually helps you treat them. So if you guys are interested in trying out the Clinique ID and you wanna learn more about it, I will have all the links for you guys down in the description box below. So be sure to check that out before you leave. All right, beauty tip number two that is completely life-changing is laser hair removal. So this video is not exactly your money-saving beauty slash skincare video, but a lot of these things I'm gonna tell you are investment, either products or treatments that if you put the time in and are consistent, I think that they are complete life changers. So laser hair removal is one of those things. Laser hair removal is not cheap. It's something that you can definitely save up for or you can buy packages and do laser in different doses, but I would recommend to be consistent with it to see optimal results. I've been doing laser hair removal now for about two years and I have a lot of hair and my hair is pretty thick and coarse and so I've done laser hair removal on my arms and on my legs. I am currently doing my underarms and my Brazilian. And let me tell you, laser hair removal is something that I am so thankful that I did because I barely ever have to shave. And even when I go like a month without shaving, you can barely see my hair because it also really thins the hair out so that it really looks like nothing. Couple of things to know about laser hair removal. It does work on all skin tones. A lot of people have the misconception that if you have dark skin, you can't do it, but you can. I have extremely dark skin, I'm always tan, and you also need to stay away from the sun for about two weeks before you do it, otherwise you might burn your skin. And also, they would recommend about eight treatments, but I definitely needed more than eight treatments. I know most people that I talk to that have done this have definitely needed more than eight treatments as well. So just wanna throw that out there. And you do it every six weeks, and it's best when you actually stick to that six week regimen, just because if you take longer breaks, the hair might not be so acclimated to the laser and might start growing back the old way that it did. So again, it's all about consistency, but this is definitely a procedure that I would highly recommend to every woman out there. It just makes your life 
so much easier. All right, next up, I wanna talk about microneedling. I've done microneedling one time. The results that I saw from just this one time were pretty freaking amazing. So again, like I mentioned, microneedling is a procedure that you go into a med spa or a dermatologist's office or see an esthetician for, and it costs money, it does, but if this is something that you can save up for and be consistent with it, then you're gonna see amazing results. I already have my second appointment coming up here soon, but what I will tell you with microneedling is that it is really good for skin tone, texture, and pores. It also helps reproduce collagen, which every single one of us loses as we age. So when I did microneedling, they had to numb my face for about 20 minutes because it's actual real micro needles that they run through your face so that you don't feel pain. You barely feel anything at all. It was not painful. Laser hair removal, that was painful, um, especially in the Brazilian area. But microneedling was not painful. You feel something, but you don't feel a pain feeling. It's kind of like when you run your nail through your skin, that's what it feels like, but it doesn't hurt. So the first second day post microneedling, I didn't really see much of a difference in my skin. The third day and the fourth day especially was when I was like, oh my goodness, whose skin is this? Because my face was just so smooth. Everything just kind of glided on. My makeup looked so flawless. My pores just seemed so much smaller. The texture, it helped with that. It was just something where I had never really seen results like this before. So if you guys have any of those similar skin concerns, um, then you might wanna try it out. You do have some downtime, like two, three days. You might get a little bit red, but it definitely goes away. You can use makeup as soon as the next day. But if microneedling isn't something that you see yourself doing, whether it's because of financial reasons, there is also this little device here, which nowadays I feel like skincare devices are such a big thing out there. You can do a lot of things straight from your home. So this is a little microneedling device that I got from Stacked Skincare. So this is basically what it looks like. It has a roller and then it has little tiny micro needles. And so basically you roll it all over your face vertically first and then horizontally. And this is just something that you can do at home, whether you wanna do it for maintenance or whether you wanna do it because you can't go in to get the actual micro needling procedure done. This is called the Derma Roller and it costs about 125. Pretty good, you can actually have something like this at home, use it whenever you want to. Our next beauty tip is to create a gradient at your eyebrows instead of one harsh line. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that, but basically I see a lot of women out there who draw and pencil their eyebrows in, and when they get to the front of their brows right here, they create a line to complete their brows instead of a gradient where it kind of fades as you get to the front. If you like that look, that's fine, but when you create a softer gradient at the front instead of a harsh line that just kind of ends abruptly, it's not as harsh and can sometimes make you look a little bit angry. So all you have to do is take the tip of any spoolie brush and just brush through the front to create a gradient instead of that line. Something like that is so simple, but it makes such a big difference in everyday beauty and makeup routines. And you can see the difference right away. So if you're currently doing the harsh line, try this way out and see how you like it and see how much it kind of softens your face. Also, another really quick thing to note with brows is that you should be starting your brows right kind of at the crease of your nose right here. So if you just take an eyebrow pencil and you just point it, that's where your brow should start. Some people start their brows a little too far back. Some people start their brows a little too far in. So just a quick reminder, you can use that as a marker. All right, next beauty tip is to use primer. This is such a simple step that I feel like not a lot of people know about. Primer can do wonders for your makeup, the way that it looks, the way that it lays, the smoothness of your makeup. It can help mattify really oily skin. Primer is the first step before you put any type of makeup on, before your foundation and after your skincare. It basically creates a smooth canvas, a smooth veil, preps your skin to get ready for the makeup. 
Some of my favorite ones are by Tarte, especially now that we're transitioning into fall. My skin is a little bit more drier than usual, so that is a really good hydrating one. Another really, really, really good one that is a little bit pricey, but you might want to just try it out is by Tatcha. Other good ones are the Veil by Hourglass as well as the Smashbox Primer. If you're not using primer yet before your makeup, then I promise you, try it out. You are going to love me, and it definitely is something life-changing. All right, another life-changing beauty tip is to curl your lashes with an actual lash curler. Again, just like primer, curling your lashes may seem like something so simple and obvious, but I see so many women just putting on mascara without even curling their lashes, and their lashes just stay straight. I don't really trust mascara that says it curls and volumizes. For whatever reason, it never works on me. If it works on you, great. But I feel like even if you have a really good mascara that helps volumize and curl, curling your lashes with an actual lash curler is something that can take it even a step further. I've been using a lash curler to curl my lashes for so many years, it doesn't break or ruin my lashes. So if you don't have an eyelash curler yet, just go to the drugstore, go to Sephora, grab one real quick, and make sure to also refill the little padding that's on there every now and then to get optimal curl. So try it out, I promise you won't be upset. All right, and last beauty tip is to try out Latisse if you have sparse lashes. So this little thing right here is basically magic in a bottle. I've been using Latisse now for years. Um, I have since taken a break, a long break, um, but it seems like even when I do take breaks and I start using this stuff back up again, my eyelashes kind of like remember it. Maybe it got acclimated to the product and then once I activate it again, it's like, oh, nice to see you again. You know, let's go to work. So if you don't have that many lashes, they're really sparse, and you're looking for something that actually works, I would highly recommend Latisse. I've tried castor oil, I've tried other lash serums out there, and nothing works as good as this does. I know there might be some side effects for different people's skin, how you react to different types of medical grade things like this, um, so you might have a reaction. I've not once have had any issues with it. My eyelids don't get itchy, I don't get red, watery, yellow eyes, or anything like that. So hopefully if you do try it, nothing like that happens to you. But I promise you, if you use it every single night and stay with it, finish the whole bottle, you are going to see a difference guaranteed. It has completely changed my life. If there are two things that I don't ever want to do, it's get eyelash extensions and have to use false lashes. So this has definitely helped, changed my life in that sense to make sure I always have full lashes so I don't have to do any of those extra steps. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and spending your time with me. Don't forget, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box below, so be sure to check that out before you leave. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.